Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to discuss this uh, hike of Erg Mountain Provincial Park. This uh, park is about one and a half hour drive east of Prince George, BC, um, and it would be west of McBride, somewhere in between there. I did this hike and I created a video about this last year in September. I didn't make it all the way up to the top summit uh, because we got uh, snow three quarters of the way up and it was just very cold and couldn't make it so this time I went in 2021 and made it all the way to the top summit and I just want to give some updated details for anyone who wants to do this hike so the first place is a good resource go to the BC Parks website for Erg Mountain Provincial Park here you'll see if there's any special closures or anything going on there sometimes they do maintenance or whatever and they might close the road or something so uh, everything's normal here and another great resource is the Caledonia Ramblers website you can see here they have a description of the trail they show it at 150 kilometers uh, southeast of Prince George mostly east and they talk about how many kilometers long it is for a round trip how many hours typically it takes to hike and the difficulty level very strenuous and I believe this hike may be the most difficult hike in the sort of area around Prince George the only other one I'm not sure because I haven't done it yet and I've heard stories about would be Mount Terry Fox near Valemont. That one's pretty tough, but Erg is a difficult trail. It's one of the only trails I've ever done which is just about as hard to go down as it is to go up. Not many switchbacks, very steep. Um, so on that note, I guess I will bring in this uh, sort of Google Earth view. And you can see this is Highway 16 here, the Yellowhead Highway, heading uh, from Prince George towards McBride. And if you're heading uh, from Prince George, you're driving towards the east, you turn off to the right on this road. Um, I believe it's like Ptarmigan Creek Road or something like that. But uh, I will link a video of me driving on the highway, turning off onto the road and showing you the condition of the road as of September. Uh, probably do need 4x4, I would suggest, but you can decide for yourself when you watch the video. Um, and I'll tell you where the best place is for the trailhead. In my last video, I did not give good detail about it. This time I did some exploring around just before we started the hike, and I can tell you where to start. So, you uh, drive down the road. There are a number of sort of washouts, but you can get past them in a 4x4. And as you can see here on Google Earth, there's Ptarmigan Creek here. And that's always a challenge to cross. You will have to cross it. It's right at the beginning. I'll show you video clips and pictures of that. Uh, by September, it's usually quite low. It is, you know, fairly cold, but as long as it's not deep and, and too fast flowing, like in probably June and earlier, then it's probably not too bad to cross. Now, there is some talk of uh, the Prince George Backcountry Society uh, getting applying for some funding or maybe Caledonia Ramblers as well getting some funding to put in a bridge there we'll see how that turns out uh, in 2022 but for now you will have to cross it all right so let's get out of this view and uh, getting back here to the topo map so this is my actual GPS coordinates um, of, of me doing the hike and uh, just after crossing the creek is is basically where I started it. Took me and my friend, I believe something like four hours from the very from the truck all the way up to the the real summit. There is sort of a sort of false summit, and then you still have to go a fair ways to the real summit. So four hours to the real summit, and about three hours to get back down. So almost the same amount of time to get down as it was to get up. We did get some rain and, and wind once we reached the main summit kind of rolled in and you'll see that in some pictures and some video clips but absolute gorgeous view um, once you get to the main meadows uh, after the first uh, really challenging hike you get to these open meadows and if you look to the north if the if the day is not too cloudy you'll get a good view of mount sir alexander in Kakwa provincial park and i do have lots of videos about that park very beautiful to visit as well as mount ida and I have some pictures of both of those. So again, it took us about seven hours of hiking. It says here the total time was eight hours, four minutes. Obviously we did some resting, we had some lunch, etc. cetera. Um, and the last water source on this hike 
is this lake here. Once you hit the meadows and you look over to the left, you'll see this lake. It's right in sort of the bottom bowl of the meadows. After that, you don't get any water. So if you need to fill up any of your water sources, better do it there. Um, and what else can I say at this point? I don't want this video to go too long. So um, let's take a look at some pictures. I will, again, show some video clips at the end of my little talk here. Keep this one short. Um, and so here we go. So this picture here, we'll get into this, is uh, basically a view from where you park at the trailhead and this is the same place I parked last year only instead of going left to where the road continues there's this little trail that goes right to the creek and this is where you want to go and you'll see this I'll try to point this out in my the video where I show us driving um, down the uh, logging road to the trailhead as soon as you park it's basically right in front of you or maybe a little bit to the left and then right right away but this is the trail that goes to the uh, Tarmigan Creek and you can cross there so let's continue this along and this is basically at the end of that trail here's the creek it was fairly uh, shallow it was below my knees you know just a little bit past the ankles we took our shoes off crossed right away dried our feet off and then had a nice dry mostly dry hike the rest of the way um, wasn't really wet after that. This trail, I would say, is not really a wet trail. It's just a very steep trail. Um, and there are some muddy spots as you climb up. Um, so after the first couple kilometers, you start getting into this more open area. Um, and you can start looking towards sort of the mountains where you're going to be hiking. Erg is beyond those two peaks there. It's higher and behind them. But the road starts to open up because there used to be some kind of like a gravel pit or something like that. So keep following that trail. And uh, I think this was a video clip. Was this in the... Yeah, looking down on Tarmigan Creek, somewhere along the trail, you're about... Just before you turn to go up the very steep part, you look down on Tarmigan Creek, there's a kind of lookout there and you're about 50, 50 to 60 feet up, maybe 100 feet up. Um, just another picture of that, looking down towards Tarmigan Creek. And eventually you will see this sign, Erg Mountain. And as we start hiking up, um, you can look back and see mountains behind you. That's looking behind where we sort of came down from the bottom of that area. Just some more zoomed in pictures. Hiking up the mountain. Um, so this, this was, I believe when we start getting up higher up in the meadows maybe? I can't remember what this picture was. Yeah, this is higher up in the meadows. You can see mountains in the background. So we came sort of from the right hand side and it starts to open up and it looks all grassy like this. And if you look north, you start to see these mountains and to the left, a bit more to the left is where you're going to see uh, Mount Sir Alexander and Mount Ida. So these are just some random mountain pictures to the north across the Fraser from the meadows. And just looking at that view to the north from the meadows. And over here, that is Mount Sir Alexander. You can tell because it always has snow and ice on it all year round. And it's just the biggest mountain and often it shoots up into the clouds. This is the tallest mountain north of Mount Robson in the Rockies. And that's in Kakwa. So you can tell here's Mount Robson. And just to the left here, that's Mount Ida. It's a big pyramid shaped mountain. I'll get a better picture of it in just a minute. And this is us hiking up. Uh, these are sort of some rock bluffs and to the left is that last lake where the water source is and we're kind of standing here in the uh, meadows just before we start ascending. So here we've kind of started ascending up the area. The meadows are behind us and this is sort of the first false summit up here and we're looking back towards the north and there you can if I pause the video that's Mount Sir Alexander right there and this little pyramid here is Mount Ida right beside it. So pretty cloudy out 
kind of hard to see, but you can see Mount Ida there and Mount Sir Alexander. And the Fraser down there. And moving on, this is us just taking a quick break. And continuing to hike up this ridge. And like I said, I'm gonna show some video clips that I took from my GoPro. Uh, everything you see here is, is basically taken from my Google Pixel 5. But uh, if I kind of back it up here, if I pause, right up here there's these two cairns. The f this is the real summit, this hill up here. So the first one is there and you can continue to this other one, but that's the main summit up there of Erg. Okay, so we'll just keep going here. So this is us looking back on that false summit that we were on earlier and coming closer to the real summit. Again, looking, the, actually this is the main summit up here, sorry. And uh, there's some lakes down there. And just some more pictures of the area. This is us looking towards the south. There's this big bowl, very lush and green perfect grizzly country and just looks absolutely gorgeous down there. I get some better pictures. The first false cairn and summit is just to the left of this picture. I don't know if I actually have a picture of it. This is again that view to the south. Very beautiful area there, by the way. And just some more pictures walking along the ridge. And just another beautiful view looking from the first false summit into this big bowl and then looking towards the real summit in just a second here hopefully I get there yeah the real summits up there on the top of that ridge up there there's that first cairn false summit and that's where we went to first okay so keep looking here continuing along the ridge to get to the real summit up there continuing to hike and here we are touching the real summit. It's the friend that I hiked with. And then the other cairn is sort of behind me. So there's two of these cairns up here. There's that one. And I'm basically touching the other one, which is right on the edge. You get a kind of 180 degree view of the whole valley. So here's me right near this other cairn. Looking towards the north, again, towards Kakwa Provincial Park and Sir Alexander. And some lakes down here. A little video clip from that second cairn. Really windy. Weather was starting to get uh, windy and it was just about to start raining. But uh, you can see this cairn here. And there's the other one over there. You can see that weather rolling in. And this is what it looks like right at the summit. 360 degree view. And just some nice pictures and there's the rain coming in. Absolutely beautiful hike. Have to say one of my favorites of all the ones in the area. The only thing that I think is more beautiful than this is would be to go to Kakwa Provincial Park. Or maybe even like Mount Robson up by Berg Lake or something like that. Really beautiful here. And this is looking towards the west. You can see the ridge here. You can just keep walking ridges for like who knows how long. But uh, it's just really cool. It's so high up and these ridges just keep continuing. And there's that terrible weather coming from the south and the wind really picked up. And here's my friend. He said, take a video of this. He lost his water bottle. It flew out of his uh, pocket there and went right off the cliff it was just so windy even the video doesn't do justice how windy this was it was just crazy and rainy and just some pictures of the hike the forest on the way up I don't know if these are just out of order so be it but this is what the forest looks like when you're going up the very steep section up there are 
you cross this creek so there is some water on the way up and then the lake is at the top so again this is the creek you cross and this is the main creek at the very beginning of the hike that you cross so you only have to get wet at the beginning bring a towel dry your feet and you can be dry for the rest of the hike until you get back and have to cross again when I did this we just left the towel there and when we came back I just we took my shoes off, crossed, dried with my feet with the towel. I didn't even bring it with me, and that was how we, we did it. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get past this because I think these video clips now are... I'm going to include these at the end of the video so you can see little anywhere between, you know, 15 second to minute long clips along the way in order so you can see what the hike was kind of looking like. And uh, also add the drive-in first so you can see what the logging road was like. So that's how that will go. And just quickly looking at Fitbit. So for this hike, it, we did 26,706 steps. Burned 508,082 calories. Hiked 20.86 kilometers. I guess we kind of took some extra time here and there, distance, whatever. The actual hike, I think, is like 18 kilometers. So we didn't exactly follow the trail. Climbed 189 floors and uh, had 370 active minutes. Uh, this was a real tough hike. If I see my heart rate, you know, you're going to see like at the first part of the hike, my heart was working hard. That first part is very, very steep. It gets easier after and then that hitting the other false summits and whatever, you know, a bunch of work there. But it was tough. It was a tough hike. Uh, what else is there to look at? I think probably that's the main part of it. So at this point, I'll just add in those other video clips and pictures and hope this helps you guys out.
That's not too bad. Yeah, this is what we saw on the way back. You can see like the old road there. Wow, that's the yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you'll see after a while of hiking through this, I'm not going to saw stuff on the way up. Yeah. On the way back, I might saw stuff, but I want to make sure we make time yeah. while we have it. I got one. Yeah. What time is it? 7.48 doing pretty good yeah it sure feels nice to have dry feet yeah when we did Kakwa I just made the decision because there's so many crossings and stuff, I'm like, I'll just be wet. And it was fine, I never got blisters. Because I have a limit. If I go more than, say, 20 to 30 clicks, then I'll get blisters yeah. from wet. What's that? What's no, I just I'm taking little clips of video oh, right. to show significant sections so that people I can properly explain this is yeah. the spot if you pop out here. This is where you go. Should be obvious, but when we went, very few people had traveled, so the trail was actually hard to see.
Oh, it's a blowdown. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot more than last year, I can tell you. Yeah. Some of that fresh yeah. stuff. As long as it's not steaming. True. Good steam and you're not far away. He's there too. Oh, that's Down there. To finish the hike. Maybe they started it that yeah, way. Yeah, start a hike. Like uh, normally here there's a f another sign that says ptarmigan. Usually that says Ergen then Ptarmigan. Ptarmigan sign's gone. Is it farther up maybe? It, it used to be right by that. But maybe they moved it. Maybe they moved it to where it splits. There's a split coming up. Yeah, yeah there is. Something goes down. Thought I saw it by now. No, I didn't see that one. Yeah. So the next hard part is the climbing up the shale. Yeah. And that's like in an hour, maybe. It's pretty much gradual now. Thank you. 
Look at that. Wow. You know what? I think that's Sir Alexander. Yeah, that's it. With the snow. Yeah, for sure. It is. That is it. to go up here. I know because it doesn't look as steep and you just sidewalk it. You want to do that? Go back. Yeah, I think so. That makes sense to me. Otherwise, it's you're sliding in dirt and scree. Looks good. It's a shortcut. But we saw the cliff when we came up. Yeah. So. Yeah, they must be way behind. Wow. What do you think, bike? Check it out.
to the west and just gorgeous views. Lots of ridges you can walk and just lakes upon lakes upon lakes. Thank you. 